Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Surprise, not a cooking clean with me, and I'm not wearing my my Peppy for Every shirt today. So channel, channel, you have to see that this is Bickle Babble Mission. Because <laughs> I can't help this. This is Bickle Mission Babble. <laughs> And why does Riker need medicine bath bombs, you ask? Well, that's because Puppy has what we're pretty sure is RSV. So, hence why there's not a cooking clean with me. And there's just like a little night in the life with me. Um, I did promise you guys some cooking though. So, here's my chicken in the Instapot. I put like a half a cup to a cup of water on the bottom with a little bit of chicken broth. And then I put four chicken breasts in here. I seasoned them put them in the Instapot for 30 minutes. And then I have that and I did like a, like a low carb-ish, like low-ish carb. This is like, it's stop Fiesta me. nacho cheese soup Mommy, with, again. I will, hang on. So this is Fiesta nacho cheese soup with a little bit of enchilada sauce. And then I just did about a cup of this over my chicken. And there is, there's right around like 10 grams of carbohydrates in there. But I've been fasting all day and I'm starving. So I will show you guys what I whipped up for my supper. Okay, so I put eight and a half ounces of chicken in here, chicken breast in here, a cup of that enchilada soup, and then four tablespoons of cheese. And I'll tell you guys what the macros are here in a second, but this is my first meal of the day. <laughs> okay guys, I am just getting ready to mix my pre-workout. This is the pre-workout that I've been using lately. It is the C4 Sport. Honestly, my sister just left it here. It's like kind of crystallizing a little bit, but we're still gonna use it because otherwise I'm not gonna have any energy to get my workout done tonight. So I'm gonna take this um, before I um, bring the kids in the bath. I'm gonna let it kind of like hit me and then I'm gonna go for a good um, run. to take my little shot after I like literally made a huge mess and and then I'm going to bring the kids up for a bath. Oh it's so strong. I used to take real shots now I take pre-workout shots. Okay so these are the bath bombs. These are the Breathe Frida Baby Breathe Frida bath bombs and they're eucalyptus and lavender. Yeah, they said, oh, whew, that was really strong. Um, they smell good, they just like smell super strong. Yeah, I so, smell it. I just, just smell it. yeah, just a moment, just a moment. So, oh, <laughs> it's like pulling my arm. Um, I'm going to bring Riker up for a bath, yeah, like put one of these bad boys in there, um, and then get his new humidifier set up and get him down to bed because he does not sound good. In the darkness. Okay, that's fine. Uh, smell my breath. I'll smell your breath in a minute. Okay, we just got out of the bath. Yeah. And I can feel that his temperature is getting pretty high again, so I'm gonna give him some Tylenol, put some baby rub on his chest, and I've got the humidifier, or Mike's got the humidifier going in here. Um, and then I think that's it. And Baba, I'll get you a Baba. Come on, pumpkin. He's just shivering away. Yeah. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Hey guys, Riker is. Riker is in bed. Kai is in bed. Okay, so the kids are both in bed. It is 8.15. Um, I gave them a bath and just like a, a quick um, bath with that vapor bath bump. I realized after I put them in the bath that it said two years plus. So 
Um, took them out of the bath kind of quick. So I gave Riker some um, like cold medicine, like cold syrup. It's the, um, what's it called? It's like the Highlands Baby Nighttime, um, like tiny cold syrup, I think is like what it's called. Anyway, he had that um, and then some Tylenol because he was starting to get warm again. I have a feeling that he's probably gonna need more medicine in about four hours. I bet he'll wake up in about four hours. So I'm gonna go and squeeze in just like a really quick 20 minute workout. Um, tonight's workout I will show you guys. Oh, I guess I will not because my phone is dead. Um, how am I gonna work out when my phone is dead? <sighs> okay, well, anyway, okay, my phone is dead, but um, I've got this crazy ponytail in because I'm gonna go work out in the garage. I'm gonna do some cardio because tonight's, um, tonight's session is cardio, and then if I have enough energy, um, I was gonna do some apps as well, but I still need to edit this vlog and upload it for you guys. So, I don't know how far we're gonna get on that. Anyway, um, okay. I am, my anxiety is like, remember you guys, I was telling you that my anxiety was super high the other day? Well, now it's like to the absolute max. Um, with Riker being sick, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's RSV. Um, my daycare gal um, had texted me and was like, hey, is temp, it's got a temp, like you need to come and get him. And it was like 104. Went and picked him up, um, called the ask a nurse line, cause I was kinda, oh my gosh, like what do I have on my shirt? Puke, snot, drool, something from the kids. Um, I went and I picked him up. So that, that was at like four o'clock and I was in the middle of work. Um, dropped everything and went and got him because 104 like to me is a pretty severe fever 105 immediately elicits like an emergency room visit so 104 is wow I, like I don't even know if Kaya's ever had a temperature that high before so anyway I ran over I got him picked him up from daycare and um, was on the phone with Ask a Nurse because we literally just brought him in. We've brought him in like once a week for the past like three weeks to the walk-in. Never have I ever brought my kids to the walk-in that much. Um, I know a lot of people like bring their kids to the doctor a lot, but we just like we have been very fortunate and our kids have been pretty healthy and like the things they get are not like severe. It's just like stomach flu or like a quick cold or whatever. Um, Anyway, with this kid, he's like my wild card. Um, he just, he's throw me through the ringer and I've been like almost in tears all day just because it's so scary to me. RSV is so scary to me. So anyway, called the Ask a Nurse line though. When I got to um, daycare to pick Riker up, um, they had like a series of questions they wanted me to ask um, my daycare provider. So we ran through all of those and they ultimately decided that um, he is safe to, tr to treat at home for the next 72 hours as long as his temperature does not reach 105 and above. So we are trying to manage that um, fever. Now I do think like running a fever is good for, um, for your body, for a baby's body. I think a fever is healthy. A fever means that your body is fighting something off. But once it gets to be like 104, it's just a little too high um, for my comfort. So I will um, combat that with like Tylenol and ibuprofen around the clock until I can get it down to at least like 100, 101. Um, anyway, that's just personally what I do because a 104 temporally scares me. So he's in bed. He passed out right away. His, his breathing is pretty labored. Um, they just, they told me to really watch, um, for, um, like more than 50 breaths per minute, um, and to like watch to make sure the, um, the, his rib cage isn't like concaving in or, um, like being like, like sucked in. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen a video about that before. Um, 
like an RSV video that like shows like what to watch for. But um, otherwise, like y'all like the bluish and purplish lips, skin tone, grayish skin tone, like all the really scary things. But they told me for now he is safe to treat at home. Um, because again, it's just viral and there's nothing that a doctor would be able to do um, in the case of a virus, which is why we don't like to go to the walk-in because nine times out of 10, especially with kids, it's gonna be viral. So anyway, <sighs> all the things, all the things. It's like, like just a really quick rant. It's so hard being a mom, like a working mom, you're trying to, you know, balance work and especially in cold and flu season, you know, you're, and don't get me wrong, like I, I put in long hard hours, I work very hard at my job, but my heart physically aches when my kids are sick. Especially when they're super sick like this. Sorry, I'm tearing up. Especially when my baby is sick like this, um, like really sick when I picked him up today. He was not looking good and it really scared me. Um, it's just, it's really hard because it's stressful. You have to figure out who's going to watch them. Um, I have like a lot of my PTO tied up in this vacation that we're taking next week. All the things and it never fails. Kids always get sick right before you go on vacation. So anyway, it's just a lot of shuffling around and we figure it out, but it's really stressful and I'm just overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. So, anyway, that's how I'm feeling today. <laughs> I'm just feeling really, I'm just sad for my baby and I'm overwhelmed and yeah. So, anyway, he should hopefully be feeling better. I'm hoping I've got better news for you guys tomorrow. I will be vlogging again tomorrow. So, hopefully I've got some better news for you guys that he is on the mend, but okay. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna pound out a workout because mama needs to blow off some steam. And I need to charge my phone so I can watch Vampire Diaries. <sighs> okay, I need to go find a charger. Cardio is done. Um, I get complaints that my like lighting on my night vlogs is dark and that I wear dark clothes and I wear dark workout clothes and it's because it's nighttime y'all and I don't have good lighting in my house. The lights are off because the kids are sleeping. I mean quiet because Riker is trying to sleep right now. So that's why the lighting is always like meh but this isn't like a like well like put together like like super formal vlog versus like some of my like routines and stuff are more formal and I always make sure that the lighting is better in those. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys just really quick a little sneak peek as to what video is going to be coming up next week for you guys. So just a little sneak peek to the video. Just a little bit. All right, so week two is done, even though you guys, I totally did not want to do it. Week three, I'm on week th three. I think this is, I'm going on week three. So for two weeks straight, I have kept this whole like workout thing up, which I'm really proud of myself for finding the time in my chaotic schedule. You guys, if I can do it, working full time with two kids and running two side businesses, you can definitely find some time. And trust me, I am the queen of excuses when it comes to working out. I would much rather try to like hone in my diet than like <laughs> work out. But um, I have made no excuses this time. I just, I feel so good after I'm done working out. Um, my skin feels better, like everything feels better. I'm a little puffy right now because like I said the other day I was PMSing. But anyway, so I'm like retaining a little bit more water. Even though I've consistently been having less than 1500 calories, I had one cheat meal 
in the past, oh gosh, I'd say like, like I said, this is week three, and I think that was my very first cheat meal, um, and that was, we made homemade pizza on Saturday night with, um, with, I was going to say the kids, but Riker just sat there. Um, we made homemade pizza with Kaya on Saturday night, so I had like, like three squares, like we make our pizza into squares, so I had like three squares, and then I had a little bit of ice cream, and that was my cheat meal, um, and I still was within my calorie limit for the day. Um, I just obviously like went way above and beyond my carb count. My macros were like super off, but I think that it's important that you work in cheat meals here and there. I like to work my cheat meals in like right before really intense workout days. So like if I'm doing, if I know I'm doing like a full body or if I'm doing like a cardio and a lower or whatever it may be, if I'm doubling up or doing a full body, then I will do my cheat meal like within a day of that so anyways i am going to share my weight loss update with you guys probably on sunday i've been trying not to weigh myself um the past week because i knew i was getting my period and i always gain like five to ten pounds of water weight i just it's ridiculous no matter how i like work out or like watch what i eat i will always always gain that and from what i understand that's pretty normal but anyway so we're not gonna wear ourselves until like sunday so all right tomorrow's wednesday tomorrow's wednesday thursday is my friday so i'm tired tired i've been very transparent and like i've been more transparent than ever in my vlogs lately just because i've been trying to show you guys what life is really really like as a working mom because there's something just therapeutic knowing that you're not the only person going through what you're going through so i'm here to tell you that you have a voice and that none of this is easy being a stay-at-home mom honestly is not easy i i feel like i have a good mix of being a, like a stay-at-home mom and being like a working mom because i work uh four days a week and then i'm usually home with the kids i have a four-day weekend every other weekend so i feel like i have a good mix of like knowing what it's like to be on my own and with the kids and i'm usually running the household like by myself because i was gonna say rager <laughs> because Mike is always um, working. Mike works like 13 hour days, five days a week at his job. And then um, when he's home, he's usually in the shop working on M&M rustic orders um, or like snow blowing or whatever he's doing. Like I will not touch the driveway. I will not shovel. I will not snow blow the driveway because that's one thing I will not do, but everything else I'm taking care of the meal planning. I'm taking care of the kids and taking care of like their health and their appointments their routines and cooking and cleaning and making sure that our laundry is done, making sure that the M&M Rustics, like all of the messaging and the marketing and all of our accounting and like ugh, everything, everything. And that you guys is just a glimpse of some really hard work <laughs> in the making. All right, with that total like crazy tangent, I just wanna have fun, I'm going to leave you guys there for today i'm gonna end the vlog there for today um i'm not even gonna tell you when my other videos are coming because at this point i have no idea we have rsv we've got vacation coming we've got all the craziness but i'm off this friday i'm off i have a nice three-day weekend so maybe i can get caught up on videos for you guys and pre-upload and pre-edit woohoo all right i will see you on let's see what day is it was i'll see you on friday for another really fun video okay bye guys